Hi, I'm Cindy. And I'm Dan. Well, for the past 55 days, we've been building our dream house, right? Yeah. And today is Friday. Now we're scheduled to start moving in tomorrow and officially have our first night into the house on Sunday evening. Now, last week, if you were with us, you would have seen Dan building this awesome shower kitchen unit. Yes. <laughs> um, this for us is a great solution because it means that we can kind of wash ourselves and cook while we're finishing building the main house. We promise you a major unboxing day today. And yeah, everything that you see on the table was purchased on Amazon to pimp up the kitchen um, behind us. Actually, not everything. Some stuff we got in Braganza here and there during the course of our uh, purchase spree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So yeah, so in this video, what you're going to see is just pimping up the outdoor kitchen and shower, right? Yeah, making it more comfortable. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're still missing a couple of parcels, sadly, but uh, they're scheduled to arrive today, so... Yep. Yep. Now, all the stuff that you see on the table, it's stuff that we have bought, but it's also stuff that you guys have sent us. Thank you so very much. Let's Ma hope we can identify them. Yes, exactly. I mean, we've never really had a wish list available, so we don't really understand what the format is. Uh, we really hope that we'll be able to see who sent us the parcel. Um, but yeah, that's we're new to YouTube, so an <laughs> Amazon wish list is something that we didn't know until one of our subscribers mentioned it, and then uh, and then we decided to create one. So yeah, so yeah, so I guess the first thing that we're going to be doing today, Dan, is installing the shower curtain. Yes, right. Yes, correct. So. Normally, a shower pole is around 20 euros in Portugal. But of course, as you guys know, we're really watching how much money we're spending. So, yeah, we bought a broomstick. <laughs> Two euros instead of 20. <laughs> exactly. That we will be cutting to install this shower curtain that we bought at Espacio Cash Off for $3.99. Uh, we're not sponsored by any companies, by the way, just so you know. But it's just good tips for you guys to see how much things cost in Portugal and where you can source them for the best price. That's what we thought, right? Yeah. So, installing the shower curtain, which has little silver fish on it to match the color of our corrugated metal. Mm. So... Let's install a shower pole and a shower let's, curtain. Let's do it. Let's do it. So the dimension of the shower area is not really assigned by us. It's just assigned by how much leftover material we had and the length of these pieces were actually. So we just uh, built it from there. And uh, well, let's see. It's. Uh, the width is uh, 95 and the length is 95, so we're fairly lucky there. <laughs> the cladding or whatever you want to call it is just left over from the facade that we didn't want to put on the house. And these one, two, three, four, five boards were the, the discarded boards. And when we cut them, we got some boards for this side as well. We also had to take a couple of other discarded pieces to make it fit, but everything is it's fairly okay and now the plan is to just take a broomstick and uh, put it somewhere here Again, I just took another spare piece that was laying around in the scrap pile, drill it in there so we get out the distance a bit from the from the actual shower area so we get another seven centimeters free room, I'm gonna call it that. Mm -hmm. And 
I think I'm gonna drill it completely through so we get the broom sticking out here so we can hang something maybe. Not a bad idea. The broom. What do you think? I think it's a really good idea. <laughs> Of course, in the middle of that. So let's see. In the middle of the two studs yeah. joining. I'm uh... Yeah, it's gonna go to drill. Yeah. So then in terms of the mixer, what are we going to do? We're gonna, uh, I think we're going to use our own mixer from the house that we ripped out and kind of deemed for the trash, but we're going to reuse it. Yeah, exactly, because we had in... The, in I go get it. Oh, yeah. So in the flip house, one of the major projects that we did was completely doing the bathroom all over again. And before the flip had a shower over a bath which made the bathroom a little bit cramped so we removed the bath and then just put like a really locked shower and this was the mixer that we had with it right yeah. and so we kept it it's rough but it's perfect for an outdoor kit and yeah. kitchen it's shower like unit yeah. yeah and then it has to connect the shower there and it still has the spout there so we can fill buckets and stuff so yeah but for that to happen, we need to install some piping and do yes. some more wood or more waterworks, which you know how that is. Yeah, that's going to happen a bit later. But an easy thing to fix is to put this one up. <laughs> yes. Mm. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, this is awesome. Let's go with this one. Because I think I know what it is, and that's related to the outdoor shower. I don't know if you want to have your name. If it is what I think it is, I don't know if you want to have your name mentioned on uh, on YouTube. So, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, I love those. Okay. Uh -oh. Thank you so very much, um, Miss S, who sent us this. It's, a, it's an amazing gift. Did we buy it? Did we? Did you guys send it to us? We don't know. <laughs> oh, this oh, this is this is so cool. I love those. Do so you have those? Ah, oh, okay. And another hook. But this will go in our 
main bathroom, right? It could potentially do, huh? Yeah. It's gonna fit the so well for the main bathroom. The fittings that we it's picked out for the. Oh, she's oh. been so generous. I mean, don't tell you not to screw them. They're glue on. They're glue on these ones. Yes, they are. Nice. I'll show it to everyone. So yeah, so basically it's a towel rack, towel hangers, and, and uh, some hooks, toilet roll. And a toilet roll. Thank you so very much. It's gonna fit per fit perfect with the decor that we probably Absolutely. gonna go with. Yeah, I mean, because we know that our shower tray in the main bathroom is black. That the uh, glass that we pick has some black fittings, and this will be absolutely perfect for yeah. like totally perfect <laughs> and even the shower they're black as well yeah. so let's do this one do you want the aha so this looks to be something that we bought a power bank solar a power bank solar power bank yep that we aim to use quite frequently i guess We've not tested it, so we'll tell you what our opinion is. But basically, it's supposed to be good enough for two USB ports, and we plan to charge the phones uh, with this solar bank. So great, we can already open it up and charge it, charge it up, right? Yeah. And that's the. Uh, it also came with solar charger. Perfect. That's great. And even uh, hang it up. Okay, I go for another small one. I don't know what this is. Uh, again, this was sent. Uh, yeah. We're not sure who it's sent from or what it is, but let's open it up. Fairly compact, you wanna? Quite heavy, so it could be some more power banks stacks that we bought just to help us with our fridge situation because we won't have a fridge uh, while we're living off grid. However, we have bought two coolers. One of them, which seems to be there, uh, will be used for fruit and vegetables and in collaboration with some ice pack. We do have a few more ice packs, don't worry. And the other one is a USB charge thing. So, yeah. A USB operated. U USB operated, yeah. So it requires, uh, this stuff requires no installation. You're going to pick? My turn. I'll take this one then. Yep. Oh, this is heavy. This is heavy. I don't know what this is. Is there a message in there? No, there's no messages, so it's gonna be something that we bought. Chairs. It is the camping chairs. <laughs> it's again our dear friend Miss S who sent us this. I am so in love with this pepper meal. I mean, it's totally awesome. I saw it and I was like, oh my god, this is gonna fit so well in our real kitchen. And you wanna see them? Uh -huh. Open this one up. And then. Oh wow. They are absolutely, oh wow, and it comes with spoons. Uh, Some sort of hardwood for sure. Yes, and look at those. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so very much for those. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a shelf. Yeah, so this is something that we've bought ourselves. Uh, just to improve our quality of life while we're going to be uh, outside, like cooking outside and all of that. It's a stackable shelf with these type of uh, 
length that you can set the adjuster shelves individually it looks to be like every two and a half centimeters i'm gonna go with this because i think i know what it is and then we can well it requires minimal installation for now or we can make sure put it around the area where it's gonna go yeah yeah totally This is our outdoor stove, so it's going to run on gas, and uh, yeah, we're going to be putting it right here. Okay. Somewhere around here. Yeah, somewhere around there. We had some definite hits in our Amazon delivery. Sure did. What we have missing is water, so right now we have to go and head out to the Cherry Hill where we're going to be fixing a small leak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so It's going to be a full day of uh, installing water, I'm sure of it. Which is what you'll see next. So stick around. After monitoring it. Frankenstein has to get uh, this out. 
the ball a bit above the side left from the from the flip house and try to get it together. So fingers crossed on this one as well. So many joints there is one, two, three, four, five, six in one side that needs to be tight. And with my uh, curse of curse of water, I just have to wait and see. We really don't want to have that many leaks since we just are operating on the tanks now, so it would be great. If it would not leak. That. This has a this is for a garden house. So let's hope it does a job. I think I'm gonna put horse hair there anyhow. It's a rubber washer in there, but I think I'm gonna put horse hair anyhow on the threads. Get into the shade. Cow this it's out. I might just seal the deal. Oh. Pretty warm because our IBC tanks are black. I'll show you. Shower. Nice and warm, actually. Um, fresh new towel, and let us show you inside. The main living area is pretty much going to be where we're going to be storing our tools, right? Yeah. Mm. The, the build area, I think, is going to be designated as. We'll try to keep the rest of the space clean. 
Yes, exactly. And I'll show you what the rest looks like. The bathroom with our flushing toilet. We are going to have a um, kind of like a sink here area that we can just collect water from outside and wash our hands. And let's go to the bedroom. So yeah, this is it, the bed is made. All that's left to do is just for us to sleep here. And in two nights, we're gonna be sleeping here. It's actually, I'm saying this, and I'm just getting a bit like feeling the emotion coming in. Um, our wardrobe for now is our old seed rack. Um, our sofa is not yet unfolded because we really don't want it to be dusty. The bed is ready. And we have our good old Oscar resting on my side of the bed, as it should be. Welcome home. Welcome home, Oscar. With the water running in the outdoor kitchen and outdoor shower, the bed is made. All that's left for us is to move in. The next few days are going to be quite busy, as I'm sure you can imagine. We have a lot of packing and unpacking to do. Yeah, for sure. But one thing is certain, when you'll see this video on August 28th, we're going to be living here. And from there on, things are only going to get better. Right? Yeah, that's, the, that's what we're aiming for. I don't think we're going to be content with living in plastic for that long. So it needs to happen. It needs to happen. But I think for, for a little bit, it's absolutely fine to live on plastic. We know that there is people that have it way rougher than us, and we're certainly not complaining. So we are content with what we have. Yeah, we're safe from the elements. It's yeah. just the finishing touches that uh, lacking a bit. We'll be fine. And a ton of decor. Yeah. <laughs> a bit decor. This is not the wallpaper we're going for, by the way, guys. Um, anyway... We're going to end the video here for this week. Yeah. Again, thank you so very much for watching. And thank you so very much for all the presents that you've sent us. It made us feel very welcome here. Have a good week. Take it easy. See ya. See ya.